so today's nerd time I wanted to talk about something that maybe a few of you might not know about but if you are into Pokemon and the cards uh, we're gonna have a little 101 today about the Pokemon base set the very first set that ever came out I have three binders here because there are technically three different collections of the original base set because there is a secret set within the base set that people may not know about now before the Pokemon TCG was bought out by Nintendo, it originally was under Wizards of the Coast and there was two different versions of each set. There was the first edition set and then the unlimited version of the set. As opposed to what it is now where you have the normal version of a card where it's non-holographic and then a reverse holographic version. Now it's kind of a little hard, to, uh, complicated to really explain it, so I'm going to be using pictures to show you guys the secret base set because there's technically it's like there's three sets it's a secret error set within the base set I'm just gonna stop saying base set and just basically show you guys what I mean so right now I'm showing you guys two versions of the same exact card we have a Mewtwo first edition and then we also have the Mewtwo unlimited version now, as you can see, there is no first edition stamp on the unlimited version, but you can also tell the differences. The coloring is different. If you look around at the coloring, you can tell the shading is somewhat off. Also, around the box where the Pokemon is actually pictured, there is a drop shadow on the unlimited version, but there isn't one on the first edition version. Also. Faintly, you can tell the print is a little finer on the first edition version. And also at the very bottom, if you look closely, look at the copyright. You have 1995, 96, and 98 on the unlimited version with 1999 at the very end, Wizards. But on the first edition version, you have 1995, 96, 98, and 99. And then 1999 is at the very end again with Wizards. That is one big difference you can tell with the trainer and energy cards because it's not as easy to tell the difference when I talk about the shadowless cards. Now because he's one of the most popular Pokemon from the very first generation, I have Charizard here to show you guys to tell the difference between a shadowless card and the regular unlimited version of the card. As you can see, both do not have the first edition stamp because they're both unlimited. Now this was fixed after the first edition run through and they started printing them as unlimited. Uh, Wizards of the Coast noticed, you know what, it didn't look as appealing anymore without the first edition stamp. So they decided to add the drop shadow on the card, the print is bolder, and they adjusted the coloring. Then also you can tell with the copyright on the Shadowless Unlimited version, you have the additional 99 year in the copyright, but in the Shadow version, the 99 before Nintendo Creatures Game Freak 1999 Wizards was taken out. That is how you can tell the difference between a Shadow and Shadowless Trainer and Energy card. Also with the Charizard, you can tell the shadow between the Shadowless because of the fact that on the Shadow version of Charizard, the wings appear to be blue but on the shadowless version the wings appear to be green so this is why on some eBay auctions for a first edition Charizard from the base set they will put green winged Charizard the only exception to this rule is Machamp because Machamp was a special promotional card there is no legitimate version of Machamp from the base set without the first edition stamp both the shadow and shadowless Machamp have the first edition stamp. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You learned that there was a secret third set within the base set and it was basically kind of an error set. And these tips also help you differentiate between a true first edition and a fake first edition of the base set. So let me know if you like this Pokemon trading card video from me, if you guys want to see more, what you would like to see, and if you guys still collect or play the trading card game. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in Sunday's video. Bye!